For my DA, I decided to continue with an existing project, being the PASS at UAW Facebook group. At the time, the problem I was attempting to address was the relative lack of participation in PASS compared to the number of students enrolled in each participating subject. The idea was to create an informal, student-led space where news, notices, competitions and study tips could be shared, as well as a space which encourages active participation from and between students. In my prototype, I created a variety of material for my DA, which I've broken down into three sections, the first being the group itself. At the time of this presentation, the group's membership currently sits at 583 members. On the slide, I've attached just five examples of how students have been interacting with the group and its content, as well as my responses and interactions with each student. The second type of material I've created are several YouTube videos. However, only one ultimately made it onto the page. The reasons for this are many, and I will elaborate further when discussing my key learning moments. However, all three videos are publicly available to watch on my channel. Finally, the content itself. Over the course of this project, I've shared numerous posts on a variety of past related topics, such as key dates, additional study sessions, and information about past online. As the Facebook group is the official UAW Pass social media channel, all of my posts had to get approved prior to sharing them to the group. Because the university is such a well-established company, there was very little flexibility in tone and style of my writing. And so, there was minimal change in content despite the response from students to prior posts. This graph simply shows the trends in posts, likes and comments over the course of the project thus far. The major outlier that is week 5 is when the announcement was made that Pass would now be moving online indefinitely. Over the course of the project, there were a number of key learning moments for myself, the first being the limitations for working for such a reputable and well-established company. As previously mentioned, there was very little flexibility in regard to the content I was able to post, and everything first had to get approved to ensure it was in line with university policy. Due to this, when all resources became entirely dedicated to ensuring the smooth transition to remote learning, I was unable to post any content or respond to student questions. Another thing I quickly came to realise after starting my DA was that, in the wake of a pandemic and rapid transition to remote learning, students become significantly more interested in joining these types of support networks, when the option to rely solely on face-to-face -face interactions was completely and suddenly made unavailable to students, the number of members of the group grew rapidly. In under two months, between the 9th of March and the 2nd of May, the Facebook group doubled its membership numbers, with the majority of this growth occurring during the first two weeks. Finally, and unsurprisingly, students respond significantly better to an authentic student voice. As every post had to be approved and edited by staff, it quickly began to reflect every other UAW group as opposed to one for students by students, as it was originally intended. While my approach to my DA has not changed significantly in light of these realisations, I have compiled a list of recommendations on how to move forwards, in particular suggestions in relation to ideas to incorporate into future projects. Again, due to the restrictive nature of working for such a company, I don't have the flexibility to make the changes I think would be most beneficial for the audience we're targeting. Although, I would like to think I've learned a lot from this experience about working in social media, as well as about myself as a marketer and my own interests in the digital world.